Today, we are engaging with the I'll get around to it later book tag. I was tagged by none other than my friend Kevin at Kevin Told Reads. Kevin was tagged by our good friend Pat at Book Chat with Pat. And Pat was tagged by Jess at Jess Book Girl TV. And together, it would seem, we form a sort of Ouroboros of literary procrastination. This tag appears to be designed to expose the fact that for every book we read, there are no fewer than a hundred that we mean to read. So let's go ahead and dive right into it, shall we? Prompt number one, a classic book that you've been meaning to read forever, but haven't read yet. The Recognitions by William Gaddis. I can hear the collective gasp now from the hardcore postmodernists. <laughs> Gaddis is an architect of Byzantine sentences that twist and turn like an Escher drawing. And this book in particular has been sitting on my shelf like a totem of guilt for several years now, just mocking me. Every time I see it, I swear there's a glimmer of judgment in its spine. I very recently read my first Gaddis, which was Carpenter's Gothic, and I did enjoy it very much. But if you think the way Cormac McCarthy uses punctuation is a challenge, Gaddis is on an entirely other level altogether. So I'd be lying if I said I wasn't just a bit intimidated by the tome that is the recognitions. Prompt number two, a book on your shelf you haven't read yet. So I admittedly have several, but I went with Sinners by Pat Cadigan, as it's one I picked up not too terribly long ago. This one is supposed to be a pillar of cyberpunk, dense with visions of a neon, jacked-in future. I really just picked this one because I love the cover of the SF Masterworks edition. Sinners intrigues me deeply, and I'll likely get to it sooner rather than later. Though I did just finish The Nano Flower, which is the final book in Peter F. Hamilton's highly cyberpunk Greg Mandel trilogy. So I'll definitely be taking a bit of a break from the subgenre for a little while. Prompt number three, a book you recently got that you haven't read yet. The most recent brand new book I purchased was Polistan by Neil Stevenson, which was just released less than a month ago. I love Neil Stevenson. His books are like intellectual mazes that both beckon and intimidate with their sheer mass and complexity. You don't really just start reading one of his books on a whim. It's usually a considerable commitment. But this one is definitely quite a bit shorter than his output has been since about 1995. So it's much less intimidating than usual. Still, I like to read the authors I love in publication order, and I still need to read Termination Shock before I get to pull the stand. Prompt number four, a book you've had forever, but haven't read yet. Foucault's Pendulum by Umberto Eco. This one exudes an aura of intellect and complexity that is cripplingly intimidating. I picked this one up back in 2018, and it's been haunting my shelves ever since. A book a friend recommended that you haven't read. A Voyage to Arcturus by David Lindsay. Recommended by my friend Jubal, whose taste I trust implicitly, which definitely makes the unread state of this book far worse. A friend's recommendation carries a different weight, doesn't it? It's not just the book you're avoiding, but the nod of approval from someone who 
knows you well enough to recommend something to you. It's like a pebble of guilt in your shoe. Sorry, Jube. I'll get to this one eventually. I promise. Prompt number six, a book you are procrastinating on. So for this one, I went with Pet Cemetery by Stephen King. My wife and I started it toward the beginning of October with every intention of working our way through it slowly and steadily over the month. And we made it to about the 50% mark and we were definitely enjoying it. But then Snakey passed away and we've just been putting it off ever since, which I think is pretty understandable. I don't want to just completely DNF it, but it's probably going to be quite a while before we pick it back up again. And then prompt number seven, the next book on your TBR. Now here's where the chaos of intention unfurls. <laughs> I typically have three books going at once, one genre book, one lit fic book, and one nonfiction book. I'm currently finishing up Good Morning Midnight by Lily Brooks Dalton, If on a Winter's Night, A Traveler by Italo Calvino, and I just started Alex's Adventures in Numberland by Alex Bellos. But the next ones up on my TBR in their respective categories are, for genre, what Moves the Dead by T. Kingfisher, something that I picked up thanks to Carly at Chamblin and the Bookstore Challenge. For literature, All the Pretty Horses by Cormac McCarthy. And for nonfiction, The Dawn of Everything by David Graeber and David Wingrow. So there it is, a litany of books that I've been avoiding for <laughs> one reason or another. I wouldn't say that these books represent failures of time management so much as promises I've made to myself about the person I want to be. Someone with more time, with more curiosity, and more adventurousness. But that's okay. I'll get around to it later. Thanks so much to Kevin for tagging me. On this one, I always appreciate being included in these things. If you are watching this and you want to participate, please, by all means, consider yourself tagged. Otherwise, I will catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching.